Monsieur. American University professor David Vine in his forthcoming book, Base Nation, in which he seeks to quantify the financial, environmental, and human cost of keeping these bases open. Yeah, I know the environmental aspect of it, of US military sites, because I've gone to decommission military sites in uh, Yukon and BC and Alberta. Okay, decommission military US uh, military sites to do environmental assessment on them and find out how much environmental damage uh, they've released. And it, it was devastating. It was quite huge. One of the military sites they had in Yukon, right? They just packed up and left. And before they left, they dug a gigantic trench and just put whatever barrels of whatever they had into the ground and buried it, right? And it was right beside a river. Uh, it was right beside a river, Salmon Run River, right? I did the geophysics work on it, right? So in Yukon, it was a it was here's a river, right? River, 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 major salmon run, right? Military base was here, it was quite large. We did environmental survey, geophysics on it. The first people to go on, well, first people are just people do history and stuff, right? And I found personally, I found a huge area where they had dug. The ground up and whatever barrels they had that was full of whatever it was they just put them into the ground and covered it up right it went from a natural preserve area salmon run bears places grizzlies we had people stationed to protect us from grizzlies grizzlies there that's how big of a salmon run it uh, river it was right how important it is right and it went from complete nature to a level one contamination zone where they cordoned this off and for you to walk in you have to wear a suit right because they don't know what was in there u.s military site right a river leaking containers for since 1960s and the only reason we knew it was there we were sent there was because the backhoe driver at the time Canadian backward driver at the time I think it was Canadian backward driver it was a backward driver at the time that did the work he was a young kid okay and in the late 1990s environmental stuff was becoming more and more important and he went you know what i did some work for u.s military site that i think that's pretty bad so he reported what he did he didn't know where it was buried he knew it was at the military site and he buried the hole and covered it up and we were one of the first people to go in there and try to find it and we found it okay so as you say 800 military sites one of them would have been here that was decommissioned 1960s i believe okay 